no more coffee. Ah, never mind. <laughs> In today's video, we are going to be reviewing this guy. The I forgot the name. Start. Okay, so in today's video, we are going to be talking about the US Key Vision Wand Stick RGB LED light. The model name is UVGL2. So first of all, I would like to thank US Key Vision for sending this light to me. I'm sorry if I couldn't do the review right away, because whenever I receive an item or piece of gear, I don't want to just review it right away. I want to first be able to test it out and then formulate my opinion because I don't want to tell you guys some crap about an item that I haven't really used. I always want to be able to test it out first and then give you my honest opinion. So what is this US Key Vision light? Like what I said, this is the UVGL2. They really need to change the name on these and not just use a code name or something. This is a, a light stick or a wand kind of light. So normally you would put this on your background and use it as a an accent light like this. This is the light on teal mode, the teal color mode. This is at its brightest. So let me dial it down all the way to its lowest. So this is teal mode in its lowest. It is still strong. First of all, let's talk about the price of this LED wand. This is $55.99 on Amazon, and I think that is a fair deal. It is very affordable. If you are a YouTuber who wants to use lights like these, like change up your backgrounds, th this would be a good option for you because first of all, it is cheap and it will not break the bank. And at the same time, the form factor of this is very small. Look at this, it's very good. It's very thin, about a meter long. It's about one arm span. The build quality is really good. I think it is half metal and half plastic for some parts. This is definitely like a softer metal. You can hear it. They put a milk diffuser in front, so which means that you will get a little bit of, of softer light instead of just having the LED beads show up because it sometimes can be so harsh. Therefore, you cannot actually use it as a key light in case you ha have to use it as a key light. It has 2,600 milliamps of battery. I tried it out and maxed it out at maximum brightness and I got two hours of use out of it. Not bad at all. And the good thing about this is that you can actually use it while it's charging. So at the back, we have three buttons over here. But before we talk about that, let me just talk about one thing I don't like about this light before I start talking about the good things about this light. I actually only have one negative uh, opinion about this light. It is that it is still using a micro USB charging port. <laughs> I don't really use any more devices right now that take up micro USB except for my Sony a6400, which is so annoying. All of my gear and equipment right now are powered or charged via USB type C. And this is really not good. I have to now bring an extra cable with me, which is a micro USB. I would love to see a version two of this that just uses micro, no, no micro, that just uses the type C charging method. So the reason why I mentioned this bad thing about it is that it is the only thing that I don't like about it. Therefore, I can talk about all the things that I like about it. So we have three buttons over here, the power button, which is your mode selector as well. And there's a plus and minus button. These are gonna control your intensity levels. So if I press the power button once, you can go into different modes. Right now I'm on teal mode. And if I press it one more time, it's gonna be on police light mode. <laughs> so I don't know when you would use this, but I guess if you were like a hip hop videographer and you needed some kind of police lights and uh, whatever, <laughs> you would definitely use this. If I press it one more time, it's gonna be on daylight mode, which is probably the most used mode because a lot of people just want daylight. And this one is tungsten mode, which is the orangey sunny light that we come to love, which comes with the bicolor options of other lights as well. And the next one is a mix between tungsten and daylight. And the next option is red. So as you can see, it's casting off a, a simple red light. Next one is green, blue, yellow, purple. And to switch it off, all you need to do is just hold press this button. Just like that. And if we power the light back on, it uses the same option that you switched it off with. So if you switch it off with tungsten, it's gonna keep using that option, which is pretty dandy. If you leave it on your most used light option, you can keep that setting. I'm using a very similar LED stick right now, which is the YN360 Mark IV Pro. I just sold my YN6000. I'm going to miss that light so much, but I just had to sell it. Not because I needed money or anything, but 
I just wanted to challenge myself to rig new things up, like by using different lights rather than just using the YN6000, which was my all-time favorite light. I just wanted to challenge myself to learn new lighting methods. So right now I'm using the YN360 Pro, like what I told you. So I'm gonna switch it off right now and I'm gonna try to light myself up with this LED stick. Let's see what happens. Caught the remote. So right now I switched off my key light. So this is the light at the lowest brightness level. So if I angle it correctly, I can simulate the look of my previous key light and you can get this look. Not bad, right? And if you need more light, you can set it at full blast. It's gonna be like this. Look at this humongous ore. <laughs> look at this, you can even create cool light flares. So one more thing you can use it for is like a hair light. If you put it behind you, you can light your hair like this. So this is without the light and this is with the light. Look at how much separation you get from the background. You create like a very cinematic look and you can even put it behind you somewhere here. And you can create like a, you know, those music video kind of shots where in the back of the subject is lit up. You can create this like outline on the hair on the body so you can use this to, to just paint your walls whatever color you want without actually painting your walls therefore you can see here i have blue here i have orange i'm just using the one 300 mark 4 i forgot the model name but you get the idea so one more thing to mention is that there is a tripod mount at the bottom so you can basically put it on any tripod head you have or if you have a light stand like this you can just screw it on. So let's go ahead and wrap up the video. So like what I said, the only thing that I don't like about it is that it is that it is still using the old school micro USB charging. <laughs> Come on guys, it's already 2021, use type C. <laughs> so that is my only gripe about it. Other than that, I love everything about it. You can use it somewhat of a key light. You can use it as a background light, as a rim light, as a hair light, whatever you want to use it as. For. Actually, before I end the video, I let me quickly talk about what things come inside the box with this light. So what comes inside the box is this light itself, the micro USB charging cable, which I don't really like because I love Type-C, come on. And it comes with the manual, very interesting addition, which is a ball head. It comes with this. So what you do is you attach the ball head to the bottom of the light, and now you attach the ball head to any light stand or tripod you have. So this allows you to tilt the light to wear whatever angle you want or need it to be. So if I wanted to use this as a hair light to light up the backside of my head or just on this area, I can lift, uh, I can make my light stand a little bit taller, change the light setting to daylight, lower the intensity and angle it like this. And now <laughs> I have a little hair light, not a little hair light, but a big hair light. Look at how much separation you get. This is called backlighting or hair lighting. I'm actually creating a separation of myself from the background. So that's it for me, guys. I just can't stop blabbering about this light. So the only thing I hate about it is the micro USB. Other than that, everything is good. Everything is just well and dandy. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you wanna buy this light, you can check out the link below to Amazon. And if you purchase any items from Amazon using the links below, I will get a small commission with no extra cost to you. It supports the channel, just makes me do more videos like this. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.